We are here today at the Red Wolf Sanctuary, located just outside of Rising Sun, Indiana, about a 45-minute drive from Cincinnati, Ohio. Today, fire crews from the Big Oaks National Wildlife Refuge in Madison, Indiana, are going to initiate a controlled burning of the prairie grasses. It is necessary to burn prairies every few years to prevent woody vegetation, such as trees, from taking over prairie lands. Nutrients in the old grass fertilize the soil, allowing new grass to grow quickly. Controlled burns also help to prevent wildfires by reducing the amount of dead grasses and other flammable materials present on the prairie. Crews start the fire using a drip torch containing a mixture of diesel fuel and gasoline. For areas inaccessible to personnel and equipment, fire crews also have the ability to launch fire starters up to 300 feet into the prairie. Right here, the mixture of the warm and cool air has led to the creation of a fire vortex in the midst of the prairie burn. Although the burn was off to a slow start, a gust of wind helps the fire to spread quickly, consuming the prairie in no time at all. More wind causes the fire to accelerate the consumption of the prairie grasses. Thankfully for the crews involved, there are adequate fire breaks in this prairie to help keep the burn under control. Within mere minutes, acres of prairie grass have been burned. Another vortex is formed by the collision of the warm and cool air. These are common during burns as we saw dozens of them today alone. By the end of the day, over 80 acres will have been burned. For these crews, this is a small and easy day compared to other burns of hundreds and sometimes thousands of acres at once. Another wind vortex has appeared, this one looking frighteningly like a tornado as it sweeps across the prairie. The good news is, for crews involved, these vortexes have very little strength and most form and dissipate within a matter of seconds. Just three weeks ago, this prairie was underwater. As the burn nears completion, it's evident that wet conditions and well-designed fire breaks have helped the burn to be pulled off with textbook precision. Very little fire escaped the designated burn areas, and there were no injuries amongst any of the crew members involved. As crews begin to clear out, the last few acres of prairie go up in flames. Within days, the nutrients released by the burn will help fresh green grasses to sprout on the prairie, maintaining a habitat for wildlife. And in just a few years, it'll be time for the process to start all over again.